Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we we'll look at publishing or deploying a database project inside of Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So as you can see on the screen, I've actually got Visual Studio 2022 open. So obviously we get started by creating a new project. So we click on the create a new project. So here we've got um, a new project dialog here. So we select the language. So this is a query language, yeah? So as you can see here now, I've got a SQL Server database project. So this is a project for creating a SQL Server database, right? So we select this and we click on the next. So here, obviously we can configure the project details, yeah? But we're not gonna to look too much into that, but you can change the project name and the solution location as well. So once you're done with that bit here, then we click on the create. So it might take a while while the whole thing creates. So as you can see here now, we've actually got a blank database project created for us. So this is what we're going to do next. So we're going to add a new folder. So we're going to name the folder DBO just for database objects, yeah? And we're going to add another folder inside the DBO. And we're going to call it the tables. So this will actually contain the date tables here. Yeah? This will contain the scripts, yeah? So as you can see here now, it's very simple. But to keep the video briefly, I'm not going to write the SQL scripts, yeah? But I will copy from somewhere and paste it. But this is, you can have a look and write it yourself, yeah? So what we do next is we're going to add a, a new SQL. We're going to add a new item or a new table to be precise. So this will be a SQL Server file. Yeah. So we're going to call this product or products. Uh, products. Okay, so as you can see here now, we've actually got nothing inside, yeah? And we're going to add another table. And we're going to call this category. So as you can see here now, we've actually got two tables, yeah? The product and the category. So. First of all, we're going to click on the product. So I'm just going to copy it from somewhere. But before we go ahead and do that, yeah, we're going to create a, a new database from the server. So we click on the add a new connection. We open the server explorer, we add a new connection. Yeah, so here I'm just going to, you're just going to put your server name. Yeah, I'm just going to paste it. That's my server name. And we're going to add a database. I'm just going to call it DB2. So the database name will be a DB2, yeah? So we're going to click on the create. I mean, OK. So here, we actually prompted the database does not exist. So we're just going to click on the yes to, for it to be created. So now, as you can see here now, we've actually got the database DB2 created. Uh, if we look inside the tables, we've got nothing inside, yeah? So this is what we're going to do next. So we're going to add this to the, the product table, yeah? So I'm just going to paste something here. So basically, this is what we're adding to the product table. Very simple stuff like the product ID, name, prices, and description and whatnot, yeah? And we're gonna do this the same for the for the category. So we just bring up the category file. And I'm just gonna paste this here. I'm just gonna select this and paste this here. So this is very simple. So what we do is we click on the 
on the folder and we actually save it. So basically we've actually saved the products and the category. So as you can see here now, now we've, we've got some table. What we do this for the main purpose of this video, what we do is actually, we're actually going to publish it into our server. So in this case here, we're using my, I'm using my local server here. So we're going to copy it inside the DB2. Yeah, so basically we should, once everything is published, we should have the product and categories being shown here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we go ahead we, by doing that, by right clicking the, the project and clicking on the publish. So as you can see here now, we've actually got a given database name as DB3 and the, um, the generated database SQL file here. So we go ahead and click on the edit. So we actually prompted with this bit here. So here, I've actually got a DB1 showing here, but we're just going to, we're just gonna browse, click on the browse and add a new um, the database that, that is just created. So as you can see here now, it's actually asking for the server name. So I'm just going to grab my server name here just in a, in a moment. So I'm going to paste my server name here. So you should do the same. You grab your server name and then the database name here. So if you may recall, the one that I've just created, I called it DB2. So we put the DB2 and we test the connection. So as you can see, the connection succeeded. That means the database and the, I mean, the server and database, everything is in line, yeah? So what we do is we click on OK. So as you can see here now, our database name has been changed to DB2 with, uh, with the target connection screen. Yeah, so we go ahead and click Publish. Or we can actually generate the script if we want to, but we're going to click on the publish for the database to be published. So as you can see here now, we've got the operation being um, completed here. So it might take a while. So I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing completes. So as you can see here now, we've got some processes being completed, like creating a published preview, creating a database script, executing the script, and then the publish being completed. So let's go back here and see if the whole thing has been. So as you can see, initially we had no tables inside. So let's refresh the database. So as you can see here now, we've got the uh, two tables that we actually created here being published into our server. So as you can see, it is very simple. So you can go ahead and continue or build more tables and then publish it yourself, yeah? So I'm just going to leave the video here. So I hope this actually helps you. So if that's the case, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and you like the video as well. So have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.